Let me just say this. I think that Gail Emery and I were successful at pushing the envelope uh, for the United States in this sport because we were both extremely dedicated. Chris Carver and I, we came together for that 96 team and we were really leagues above the rest. We had very heavy competition coming from Canada and Japan. So I think there was a lot of pressure. As the scores came in, I almost felt numb. To see all that work with those people you love, produce success in your own country and watch all those flags waving. It was one of the greatest moments of my life. Girls involved in synchronized swimming sacrifice a great deal. It becomes not a sacrifice, but it's an investment. I've been doing synchro for six years. A lot of the times I want to break, but then when I'm on break, I just want to go back. So it's kind of this weird system. <laughs> She seems like a very happy teenager for me. Doing what she really loves gives her the energy because otherwise I don't know how she would be able to do it. <laughs> her days are quite long. About 7.30 she takes the public bus that takes her to school. She barely gets it in time for the pool at 4.25. We practice 20 to 24 hours a week, three and a half hours during the weekdays, and seven or eight hours during the weekends. Sometimes I'm too tired to do my homework, so I go to bed and then I have to wake up early. There's a lot of sacrifices that she has to do. And she didn't used to question it when she was little because it was all she knew. When you become a teenager, she realized that, oh, people are going out and they're doing all these things and I can't. Nationals. Uh, good. Team's looking good. How's that impacting everything with work? I'm good. I've just been focusing more on the AP classes. You are on target to get that done before the exam. So yeah. keep the focus on the AP. I started homeschooling because I made a junior national team that was going to Worlds. 
and it was a requirement to stop school so that we could train from 7.30 till like 4 or 5 at night. Things should lighten up a little bit after you get... After um, nationals. Post-nationals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. I've had to make a lot of sacrifices for swimming. I had to give up prom. I probably have to give up graduation. I've had to give up a lot of my school friends. They, um, it was really nice to be at school because it kind of gave me a break from the pool and now all my focus is at the pool, so I never really get a break. Grab the big pads. Since I started doing homeschooling, my brothers, they've been extra supportive of me. They're always trying to do little activities with me, just to, like make me feel active and like a normal teenager. <laughs> Warm-up shots, eh? Oh dear. <laughs> oh, off the shoulder. Honestly, I just want to be the best at what I do. Oh, good save, girl. Otherwise, I'd be at school right now. Ready, Nikki? Oh, oh right <laughs> in the stomach. <laughs> oh, there's no padding there, huh? <laughs> Lobster ball? No, I'm not gonna treat you, no. <laughs> Can I get a uh, lychee milk tea with pearls? Uh, Jacqueline? Right now, we're getting ready for US Nationals, which is in Arizona, on uh, next Monday, actually. I adjusted my school schedule so I could leave early and come to the pool by like 1.30ish. Sometimes I don't get to hang out with like Diane or Kiko as much as I want to. I try some. Okay. But when I do have the time to make that a priority, I really enjoy that time. Wow, I, just... I didn't even get to drink. <laughs> Especially now because we're gonna graduate really soon and so just making every just moment each other yourself. with each other count. For Jackie's future, I definitely see her going to the Olympics. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But then I made her make her give me a free plane ticket. <laughs> the fall of this year, I plan on swimming with Stanford University, doing synchro there. And then I'll probably take a leave of absence from Stanford so that I could really focus on uh, qualifying for the Olympics with the senior national team. So what you have is you have the box over here. So, so this is uh, the parallel force. This is parallel to the surface of the incline. And let's go ahead and let's use friction force. When Yari sets her mind to something, she works really hard to, to achieve that. She has learned how to make time for the fun stuff when she can, but her schooling and the aquanuts come first. She wasn't even able to attend a class trip last year because of her commitment to the Aquanuts. Uh, 100 newtons per meter. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna hear from Yara. Please come on up and read your poem. My poem is called, What Sport Do You Play? Synchronized swimming, that's not a sport. Synchronized swimming, is that when you wear flower caps on your head? Synchronized swimming, just do diving instead. The other day, a classmate came up to me, and I was a bit surprised because, you see, the first thing he said wasn't, what sport do you play? Rather, instead, it was, that's not even a sport. And I muttered to him, okay, because I know when I'm famous someday, I'll ask him, what sport did you play? Great job. Okay, so um, you guys are using your editorial today. Synchro's been most of my life. Around second grade, my parents got divorced. I kind of hid myself into the shell, and my mom became really worried. Привет. Привет. Как дела? It was pretty good. 
the teacher said, well, you might want to find a community who will help her go through this. I would say that sport, in a way, saved her. Do you have my synchro stuff in the back? Without synchronized swimming, I wouldn't be where I am today. It's changed me a lot over the years, and it, I think it's going to change me a lot in the, f in the future. My favorite part of being in Aquamade is swimming with these teammates who I've known for years. They're my very close friends. All right, you guys, we're ready to start. Are you guys put your hair on before we start, please. All right, can I have two rows? Two rows. Go, go, go. Our team's there to support us. If one of us is having a bad day, we all have a bad day. Make sure you don't flare your knees in. Being with a lot of other dedicated women makes me push myself to become a better version of who I am. Go! Last one! Go, 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 go! All right, good. Grab your anchor weights, we're gonna go inside. I think their teammates become their family and best friends. I think that's what drives them to keep coming back, is, is their relationships that they're forming. They just are synchro sisters. Yeah. Oh, oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Going into Tucson, you never really know what to expect. I'm hoping that we have the highest score of all season. How many of us are oh, like, in? I can my arm. I'm really happy with our routine right now. It represents us, what we've done through like the whole year, what we've worked ourselves so hard to do. So hopefully we'll do well at Nationals. Any single mom will tell you, it's just a big commitment on the whole family's part. I almost never tell my friends about all the things we have to do because they think it's not normal. G58. Both of our clubs have a lot of resources because of bingo. If we didn't have this bingo business, most of our membership wouldn't be able to afford to be members.